Has flipado, joder, se ha flipado como para no hacerlo. That the snake bite, fella? You won't believe again? it. Again? I got bitten again. Tío. It's real deep. Suck it out of me, please. I can't believe I'm doing this. Hold still. Lo, lo, lo hice disimuladamente mientras estaba con la animación antes, eh. Never Mi cara again. era como. Oh, you're so much, Mister. A lo como? Can't believe he saved my life twice. Me neither. Well, I best be getting back to town. Gonna eat a stiff one tonight. That's it. You ain't getting another out. Ya, 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 ya. Era ha sido bastante más bestia de lo que yo pensaba, eh. O sea, yo pensaba que iban a ir más bien por otro... por otros lares. Sinceramente. Pensaba que iba a ir más bien por, por el aspecto de que se hubiera simplemente, eh, ¿cómo decirlo? No, ¿cómo decirlo? Profesionalizado un poquito más. Digo, a lo, me, a lo mejor ya no mantiene el contacto cercano este y entonces se le ha subido a la cabeza. O sea, yo, yo iba más por, por ahí, ¿sabes? Porque es lo que suele pasar muchas veces con este tipo de personas que... que de estar en lo más bajo, apostar por todo lo alto y... para venirse arriba. ¿Sabes? Ya, lo sé, o sea, lo, lo sé Y me hubiese jodido mucho Que hubiese pasado eso, porque Joder, ya, ya te digo, lo conozco de, Desde Desde hace Mucho más que hiciese eh, Su propia marca, ¿sabes? Me hubiese tocado la patatita Si, si hubiese pasado eso pero hardcore es un rato. O sea, hardcore es un rato largo. Aunque no fuera eso. Pero ya te digo, es por eso que yo me quedé así un poco como... Hostia. Eh, a ver qué ha pasado, me quiero enterar. Ahí te voy a poner. Pues mira que... Pues sí, porque encima, eh, encima hacías un trabajazo que flipas. ¿Sabes? O sea, de, de hecho, en su momento... Esto, esto, momento anécdota. En su momento estuve a punto de hablarte, rollo. Oye, tú que en redes sociales se te dan bien, se te da bien hablar con empresas. O sea, yo ya he hablado con empresas, como la cueva de lobo. Pero es que soy de todo menos blando, ¿sabes? En plan, yo eh, a las empresas que puedo hablar tranquilamente son son empresas que, que son más... Que, que puedes tutear más, ¿sabes? 
puedes hablar con ellos con calma, en plan, hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Y estuve a punto de decirte, oye, ¿te interesaría moverte en algo así? Todo, vale, que en su momento estuve a punto de hablarte porque hacías un trabajazo de cojones, yo veía eh, que le conseguías cerrar un montón de cosas, y eso al final es un trabajazo, quieras o no, y estuve a punto de decirte, oye, ¿te molaría en plan hacer exactamente lo mismo pero con, con tal? Y nunca te lo dije porque dice, qué va... Entre que no tengo pasta y tampoco sé cuánto tiempo dispone y nunca te lo dije. Porque yo sí he hablado con empresas, con el tema, como la cueva de lobo, ¿sabes? Pero claro, ¿qué me pasa a mí? Me pierden mucho los modales. Yo, a la mínima que estoy un poco en confianza, de repente eh, me suelto mucho. Y eso, con, según qué gente y qué empresas, pues no sienta muy bien. <risa> Pero es verdad, en su momento estuve a punto de hablarte. Pero no lo hice por eso, porque entre que tenías tus estudios y tenías lo de Mario, dije... No, eh... Ya voy con el no. Ya sé perfectamente que no. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room? It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I? Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the sí. whole point was that this no, me acuerdo. To you. Me acuerdo. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Let's see, my, um... Ah, no te preocupes. Te sea leve.
You must be damn Barry. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office. No sé de dónde, perdón. ¿Qué qué? You're not from head office. No, creo que no lo está. Creo que no lo entiendes. ¿Qué? Does that seem important right now? No. Es By the Leland Oil Development Company. One about the oil near Wapiti. I. Okay. Okay. Damn, Barry. Think, man. Okay. Mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a nice floor as this. It's here. It's here. Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just. I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Que por cierto, Pau, me ha gustado mucho cómo lo has hecho lo del mecha tú. Come! 
stop on by for a moment. The name's William. Hola, William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this is for your horse, actually. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Oh. Okay. Boy. Yep. Defensa propia. Se podría llamar.
Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis? On a riverboat? Oh, okay then. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get out of Saint Denis and have you some Sazerac. Okay. No, brother Brodus, you're my friend. You there? Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. Okay. Good shot. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Please, put us out of our misery. <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brain. Excellent. Whew. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. You are too much. No, nope, my sweet. Okay. Yep. No 
no, 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 uy. No soy el único que la ha he hecho. Yo no estoy. Qué pena. Vale. 